Right, Patrick. The walk-in started on Sunday. This site uh, since then has seen about five or 600 walk-in uh, people getting vaccines in the last two days. This site, though, can handle a lot more, and city leaders hope more people will take advantage. Almost exactly three months in. I filled out the forms, but there was literally no waiting. <laughs> So yeah, it was great. It was a walk-in. My father called me yesterday, told me they're doing walk-ins at the Wisconsin Center. Vaccine supply at the Wisconsin Center now outpaces demand for doses. For all of those individuals in our community who have been waiting or are waiting for a vaccine, um, this is your chance. In Milwaukee, 34% of those 16 and older have received at least one dose. Mayor Tom Barrett says after the first wave interested in the vaccine, demand has dropped off significantly. It's the reason we're accepting walk-ins now is because we have a tremendous supply of vaccinations and the demand has not been meeting those vaccinations. And that is concerning to me. The Wisconsin Center can put roughly 4,000 shots into arms each day. Before walk-ins, vaccinators were only hitting half that number. Health Commissioner Kirsten Johnson admitting it's a good problem to have while urging more to get vaccinated. I think we're in a great place in Milwaukee. We have a lot of vaccine and we, have, we, are, we want to put it in arms. So we're actually in a good position. Ben, with the pause button pushed on the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, will that have any impact on walk-in vaccinations? Likely will not, Patrick. The city says that they use Johnson & Johnson vaccines uh, at mobile clinics. They have used them with teachers and some other groups as well. But the vast majority of vaccines going into arms here has been the two-dose Pfizer vaccine, Patrick.